I, I was in a match on television. There were 11 million people who watched that programme. It's phenomenal. It, it, it's, well, I can't accept it, I can't, I can't take it in. I was born in Bradford in 1940. Bradford itself then was, uh, well, in the midst of war and everybody was anxious, shortage of this, shortage of that. Even when I went back to live there when I was seven, it was still an area of decrepit mills. Yes, a dismal place. But at the same time, it worked. There were a lot of happy people about. Just before I left school, I made a coffee table with the help of the teacher. And my dad having the pub, we had a, a joiner and undertaker that came into the pub. And he saw the coffee table I'd made and uh, I could start at work the next day, of which I went on for two years working for him. That was the beginning of my joinery life. From there, and got to work on a building site at Bailey. We had a, a, a bad winter, and I fell off the roof with my two bosses. It made me realise that it, it was a bit dangerous, and I thought, my brother was in the fire service at the time. He suggested that I join the fire service part of a life I did for 30 years and it was the best thing I'd done. I kind of then got involved in amateur wrestling. The thing I loved about wrestling was the physical contact I think. You have to put the effort in and learn the different moves. No different to being a joiner or anything else for that matter. And I finished up working my way up in the wrestling to become a TV personality. I was doing two different jobs, but enjoying both. A very lucky chap. The glory of going into the ring and the crowds was phenomenal. Adrenaline inside your body urged you to be better. And slowly but surely, I kind of retired from everything and started making things with wood again. The environment of working with wood, it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's content. Why do we find that we have to be rushing? Why do we find we have to be doing anything fast? Life's too short. Life's too short. What I've learned from using my hands, making things, is no different to life. If you work at it, you'll get the results out of it, no matter what it is. You have to put the effort in to get on in life. Not just work-wise, I mean, in your marriage, if you, if, to get married, you have to put the effort into a marriage. We're all here the same. We're all human beings. If one person can put the effort in and go, we can all do that. My personal opinion, there's no reason why anybody can't do anything if they really, really wanted to. I'm now 81. I say I'm gonna live till I'm 120 and have a lot of living to do. Be honest, tell the truth, put the effort in and you get the rewards and life will work out okay-cokey. Okay.